let's take a look at some of the changes around the code engine in CLine 2020.1. Over the last few releases, we've been moving more of our language engine to Clang D. In this release, we take that further still, completing it in some cases. First, we now use Clang D only by default for all code completion. To achieve this, we fixed many issues and now feel this is the best option. But if you want to restore the previous options, you can still do that in the settings. We're also now using Clang D for Data Flow Analysis, or DFA. DFA can detect things like constant conditions, infinite recursion, endless loops, or unreachable code. Since DFA is a processor intensive task, offloading it entirely to Clang D has a positive impact on performance and responsiveness. We've also improved our integration with other Clang based tools. With both Clang Tidy and Clang Format, if their config files are present in a project, they'll be enabled by default instead of our built in equivalents. And if you enable Clang Format when no .clang format file exists, you'll be prompted to have one created for you, based on your existing settings. Otherwise, the default LLVM style is used. And in naming, you can now set up a different style for struct members than for class members. CLine also now understands Pragma region and Pragma end region, allowing you to fold such marked code away. And in refactoring, we've updated the powerful change signature refactoring. Now, if you add a new parameter, you can also supply a default value that will be written into each usage. Note, this is not a default in the signature, but just during the refactoring itself. This also applies to create parameter from usage. And add parameter to constructor. And if you use extract parameter with an initialized variable, then that initial value becomes used as the default. And finally, quick documentation, which shows you comment docs, function signatures, and even macro expansions is now even quicker. While you can still use F1, it now pops up when you just hover over a code element. So with greater use of Clang D, improvements to Clang Format and Clang Tidy integration, refactoring improvements, and quicker quick docs, there's plenty to make your coding more productive in CLine 2020.1.